Good afternoon, this is Todd Green at Beaver River. Just wanted to send out a video message to give an update with some changes that have taken place, actually some significant changes that have taken place in the last couple days, especially over the weekend. Uh, today is June 8th, 2020, and uh, probably the most significant one that change that happened uh, over the weekend was the adjustment to our budget vote and elections. Uh, originally, our budget vote was going to be done all by absentee ballot. It still is, but all those ballots were due to the district office either by mail or by handing them off to our ballot box by 5 o'clock p.m. tomorrow, June 9th. Again, that was the original plan. Now, if you're going to hand deliver your ballots, those ballots still need to come to the school district by 5 o'clock June 9th. However, the governor has issued an executive order that changes the due date for mailed uh, ballots. Mailed ballots need to be received to our office by 5 o'clock on June 16th. So that actually adds a week to mailed in ballots. Again, clarification, if you're gonna hand in your ballot manually. It needs to be in our in the office, actually by the ballot box, by the attendance office by 5 o'clock p.m. tomorrow, but you can mail them at any point to get to the school district by June 16th. No ballots will be opened until 5 o'clock June 16th. Um, another change that happened over this weekend was graduation. Now there's been lots of questions about graduation. What's Beaver River doing? Well, because things continue to change, we're being as flexible as possible in this process. We've met with the senior class officers who have gathered some information from the class to find out what's important to them. And what we found is that what is important to the class at this point is number one, that the class is together for graduation since they haven't been together in a long time. And number two, that it's on our campus. Those were the two most important pieces. So what we've done is we've come together with I would say three plans. Probably the first one won't happen. That's the plan to have a regular graduation ceremony like we've always had in our auditorium. Uh, that, that still sits out there. We can pull that off very quickly. We've got two other plans and we've sent a letter out to seniors to make sure they understand what they were. And so moving from most flexible to uh, least restricted or most restrictive, the least restrictive way would be we would be able to have a ceremony on our turf uh, we'd love to have as many family members as possible. Um, over the weekend, the governor released some information about allowing 150 people total. We don't know what that means in terms of an executive order, so we're adjusting to that. Um, so, and, and again, this is June 26th at 6.30 p.m., so there's lots of time between now and then. We have a plan to do ceremonies on the turf. That's our second plan. And then our third plan, which is probably the most restrictive, and it is able to be done right now if nothing changes from what the current status is, is that we would be able to have um, a drive-in graduation. Not a drive-through, I think there was some confusion in the letter that was written, that would be my fault on that, but I want to let you know that we're talking about a drive-in graduation, just like a drive-in theater. So we would have the graduates and their families in their vehicles um, driving to the school district, parked in our parking lot, which we can handle that many cars, and we would have the ceremony in our parking lot following social distancing protocols around those ideas. So, and we've set up a, a, a scenario to be able to do that as well. Our goal is to remain flexible. We're trying to move to the point where we can get as many family members and as many graduates together as possible on our campus. That's our goal. So we've got some scenarios put together and we'll be able to execute those scenarios um, fairly quickly actually because things have been in place for quite a while to, to get that together. If you have questions on graduation and you're a parent then feel free to give us a call if you've got concerns. Um, please please let us know. We do want to make sure we're following the protocols that are given to us by guidance through public health as well as the governor's office uh, which continues to change so we're trying to be as flexible as possible with that. And lastly, I want to give you an update on our capital project. You can probably see maybe some construction behind me or hear it outside my window. We have just removed our fuel oil tank that we no longer use when we transfer to natural gas. That was moved out this weekend. 
Um, our bus garage is on track. Our cluster classrooms, drywall is going up in those. Our fitness and our family consumer science classroom has been um, demolished and now we're working back into getting um, the utilities in there to get those rooms up and running. Um, and the roofing will begin in a couple weeks. So actually we are, in, we are right on track to, with our schedule for completion of our project uh, and hopefully all of it uh, by August. Uh, the bus garage is the most extensive piece, so we're monitoring that and see how that will come through. So um, I just wanted to give you that update on those three topics. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to give us a call uh, at school. Thank you and have a great day.